What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to get to 10,000 subscribers faster than Donald Trump could send out a tweet. Okay, maybe not that fast, but certainly faster than I made it to 10,000 subscribers. All right, before I jump into this video, I just want to let you know that I'm going to announce the winners for last video's giveaway at the end of this video. So stick around for that. But we're going to talk about how to get to 10,000 subscribers. This isn't something I usually do, but I just recently reached 10,000 subscribers, so I thought I'd give you some tips. And these tips are not only going to help you with your YouTube channel, but with life in general. So if you don't have a YouTube channel, this video is still going to be very, very helpful for you. And all the tips I'm giving are my own tips based on experience and based on what, what I've done with YouTube. So it's going to be very unique. It's going to be my own personal spin and I don't think you're going to hear it anywhere else. My first tip is talking about the three headed monster. What is a three headed monster? Well, I just kind of made this up, but I found that there are three things that you really need to grow your YouTube channel fast. The first thing you need is content, not just any content, but quality content. That's the most important thing you can have. Second part of that three-headed monster is consistency. So you have to maintain a consistent schedule. If you're gonna do it one video every week, make sure you do it a one video every week. If you're gonna do three videos a week, make sure you do three videos a week. Because your subscribers are gonna wanna know when you publish. Now, I haven't done this really well, but then again, it took me a long time to get 10,000 subscribers. And if I followed my own advice, I would've got there a lot faster. So hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and get there faster. So the third tip is to do it with frequency. So the frequency is just the amount of time to do it. The more often you, you publish, probably the more likely your subscribers are going to go up, but they're interrelated. For people who play cards, you might think of the quality content as the ace card. So that just trumps everything else. And you come out with like one video a month, but it's amazing quality. One example I like is Ants Canada. He makes about one video a week and it's about ants. You would think making one video a week and about ants, he wouldn't get a lot of subscribers, but this guy has millions of subscribers because he makes the, the content so, such good quality. Okay, so having that quality, it trumps everything else. The other two cards are the king and the queen. So consistency is your king and frequency is the queen. So I think it's better to be consistent than frequent. All right, I went through one spell last year where I made 36 videos in 36 days. So that kind of wore me out. Also, it was really stressful and I didn't really grow that much. Okay, that's when I was really starting with my YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh, everyone's saying like, make a ton of videos that'll help your YouTube channel. It helped a little bit, but it didn't help as much as I thought. Now, keep in mind, I made two videos that got me 320,000 views. So I have over a million views, but 25% of those views came from just two videos, all right, out of 150 videos. So there's really the power of making a really quality content or a content that will go viral. Something about YouTube, if you make the content really good quality, it will get the views, all right? It will, people will share it, people will like it, people will comment, and then that will help the YouTube algorithm and your video will get more views. So always make quality content. Now, if you can mix it with consistency and frequency, then you really have the three-headed monster. That's an unstoppable force. All right, before I go on to my next tip, I just wanna let you guys know that it took me a year to get about 1,000 subscribers. So 12 months, I got 1,000 subscribers. Then 10 months later, less than a year, I'm up to 10,000 subscribers. So the growth in YouTube is not linear, meaning it's not gonna go in a straight line like this. It's gonna go more like a hockey stick. So it's gonna start up very slow. And this is why most people quit, especially after like six months or three months, most people quit. And then it's gonna go up a little bit and then all of a sudden it's gonna start really rising. So I'm pretty confident that in one year from now, I'm gonna have about 100,000 subscribers. So it's gonna keep growing about tenfold. And then, yeah, can I grow to a million? We'll have to see. It depends on the quality of content, again, the frequency and the consistency. But I'm gonna try to do all those things. And my third tip is really gonna help out with this. But let's go to tip number two right now. So tip number two is gonna help you not only with YouTube, but with life in general and with anything. Now it's gonna sound a little bit woo-woo, a little hippie-ish, but I've been doing this, since I've been doing this, I can say that 
everything in my life has gotten better. I've also, my YouTube channel has grown exponentially since I started doing this and it's really helped me out a lot. So here's what I do. Every day I take 20 minutes to do this. Now the key to doing this is you have to do it every single day, what I'm about to tell you. It's kind of like exercise. If you skip a day, it's not gonna work, okay? It's, it's like working out, working your muscles. If you go to the gym and you're like, oh, I'm gonna work really hard, you work out for like three hours, and then the rest of the week you don't work out at all, it's not good. It's better to work out 20 minutes every single day. So with this too, if you don't have 20 minutes, at least do it for, I'd say five minutes, 10 minutes, but 20 minutes is best. I get in my room, just alone, turn off my phone, turn off my computer, turn off everything, you know, put your phone on airplane mode so you don't have any distractions because we all have a lot of things going on in our life. So I turn off everything and I pull out a piece of paper. And on that piece of paper, I have four different things. For the first five minutes, I just concentrate on my vision of my life in the future. Okay, so that's all I think about. I think about my most important goal, whatever it is, and I picture my life, what it's gonna be like. So for me, I really love flying drones. I love nature. I love doing my YouTube channel. So I think about all of those things. So I think about traveling, I love travel. So I think about traveling, flying my drones, making my YouTube videos, and what my life will look like. So I picture in my mind exactly what it looks like. Now, when you first start doing this, it may feel a little weird, you may be like, Brett, this is, this is totally crazy. This is a waste of time. But trust me, it gets easier and easier the more you do it. And you'll also see that your life will start to align with whatever you're thinking about. Before, I couldn't really see a picture. If you first start, you might not be able to see it. But if you do it every day and really concentrate, the key is to not concentrate on anything else. Only think about that one thing. It really gets a lot easier. So now when I visualize it i can see it like crystal clear exactly how it is so then for the second five minutes i concentrate on my health and my happiness okay so i think they're kind of interrelated if you're not healthy usually you're not happy so if we're healthy we're happy so not just like your physical health like you know eating right exercising but i think about like my mental health okay so like i'm in a good spirit i feel good and i think about the two I don't think about just one or the other because I think they're really interconnected. And you may be asking yourself, how is this gonna help me out with my YouTube channel? Well, YouTube channel, actually a lot of people watch YouTube because they wanna feel good, they wanna escape from reality, or they want to learn something. And no one wants to learn something from someone who isn't got their shit together, so to speak. So you have to, this really helps you get your mind and your body right. All right guys, so I got my paper just to make sure I don't miss anything. So I do focus on my happiness and my health. And really I focus on my routine of what I do, what I eat, what I exercise uh, to make myself feel happy, okay? Being out in nature, going hiking, traveling in uh, beautiful mountains, things like this, which I haven't done recently, but I'm gonna be doing because I'm really picturing myself doing it. And I'm gonna take the actions obviously to do it. And then one of the things I, I picture is like having perfect digestion because I've had uh, two hernia operations, two really uh, big hernia operations. So I've always had my whole life, I've had problems with my stomach. So I picture myself having perfect digestion and part of digestion is having good health and not feeling like stressed out. So it's helped a lot. Like my, my digestion, everything, my stomach feels a lot better since I've been doing this. So I don't know, it works for me. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it's been working. Now, as I'm visualizing myself being happy and having perfect health, I picture myself doing the different things I'm gonna do every day. And then I'll write them down in my notebook. All right, my schedule, all right, what do I have to do? Okay, I have to buy these foods. Okay, I have to exercise these times every day. I have to schedule in my YouTube videos, okay, etc. So it really helps your focus on what you need to do. And that gets into my point number three, which is for the next five minutes, I focus just on my career stuff. How do I grow my YouTube channel? How do I make more money? How do I do the things I want to do? For me, money is only a means to do what I'd like to do. So I like to spread the word and help as many people out as I can, learn about drones. Also wanna start a second YouTube channel about photography. Part of doing this is I start to brainstorm and, and really focus 
on what I need to do in my career. And then I just visualize myself doing that. So for the next five minutes, I'm only focusing on my career. And I'm really picturing myself being successful. You don't wanna ever picture yourself where you're at. I picture myself, all right, what's the next step? What steps do I need to do? And I picture myself actually doing those things, all right? And then achieving those goals that I want. Before I, I visualized for a long time, I visualized 10,000 subscribers. As, it, as I did it every day, it became more of a belief. When you start, it may be like, sort of like a dream, like something you can, you can understand, but you can't like 100% believe it. You have to believe it like 100%, no shadow of a doubt. Like it's already done. So my YouTube channel, I knew for sure I was gonna get to 10K. 100,000, I visualized it before, but I never really felt it. But now I'm starting to feel it more and more. And as I know, if I keep doing this, I know it's gonna help my channel get to 100,000. I know it all sounds crazy, but like I said, this has been working for me. The last five minutes, I just take to really be happy with everything in my life. We want all these things and, and much of this exercise, the first 15 minutes is really visualizing the future and what you want for your life in terms of your health, your happiness, and your career. I take the last five minutes and I just thank God that everything is good in my life. All the things that I have that are really good, I thank God for this YouTube channel, I thank for all the wonderful subscribers, I thank for all the, all the people that I'm able to help, all the things that I'm able to learn from you guys. Think about my family and thankful for them and all my friends, my ability to travel, to do what I've been doing. So I'm, I'm just thankful for everything that I have in my life because a lot of times we always want more. We want, we want to do more. We want to accomplish more. Sometimes it's good to step back and say, hey, I'm just happy with what I have right now and I'm really thankful. And that puts you in a really good mind frame for the day and for everything you do. And lastly, I'll say, you know, I said, this puts you in the right mind frame. It's good to do this early on. If you wait to the end of the night, usually you're tired, your focus isn't there. You can't really work on those things throughout the day. So if I do this, I usually do it sometime during the morning and I really focus on what I want. So like I said, for this tip, it's gonna help your YouTube channel grow. It's gonna help you in life but you have to do it consistently. You have to do it every single day. It's even more important than working out, okay? Even if your house is on fire, <laughs> do it. If you're the type of person that has a crazy busy life, then wake up 20 minutes earlier and do it. It'll definitely be worth it. All right, I'm gonna get into the third tip. I apologize if this video got a little too long, I got carried away, but I hope it is helpful. Third tip is to niche down or niche down, all right? So when you pick a topic what your YouTube channel is gonna be about, or this is anything in life, whatever your business is doing, if you're finding your business isn't growing really fast, a lot of times it's because you're trying to get too many followers, too many subscribers, too many customers, and you're trying to reach such a broad range of people that you're not really resonating with any specific person. So for example, if I wanna eat Italian food, I'm gonna to go to an Italian restaurant. I don't wanna to go to a restaurant where they, where they serve Italian food, Chinese food, and Greek food. That type of restaurant is probably gonna make my stomach hurt, all right, it's not gonna be good. You wanna go with something very specific, at least in the beginning. Now you may say, Brett, I love photography. I love flying drones. I love video. I love uh, tech and phones. Okay, I love tripods. I love lighting. I love audio. You could do all those things, but not right when you start. So I'll use the example of Amazon with Jeff Bezos. When he started Amazon back in the 1990s, he just started as a small online bookstore and he grew that to try to be the best online bookstore he could. And it actually ended up growing and it outdid Barnes and Noble because he got in there first and he really hammered away at just making it the best online bookstore he could. Then he was like, all right, now that I have all these customers, I'm gonna add more things. So then he added music. All right, so now Amazon has music and books. Now it's gonna add more things. And now he pretty much has everything. It's kind of like Walmart online. So he started with just one specific thing and then he branched out to other things. But if he, if he started with everything like it is now, he wouldn't have gotten all those customers and his business probably would have died out or he would have made very little money. 
all right, instead of being a huge company like it is. So if you wanna grow fast, get more specific. So for example, I'll tell you my channel. My channel hasn't been specific enough, which is why it took me uh, nearly two years to get 10,000 subscribers. If I had been more niche, I would've got that in under a year. I really like traveling, so I started off and I said, oh, I'm gonna be a travel channel, but I, and, and do some photography because I like photography. I'm like, well, I don't travel enough, so I'm just gonna make it about photography. And then I did just photography for a while, but I realized that was a very competitive niche and it was too broad, it wasn't specific enough. So then I started doing drones and being more with DJI things and I started to get more momentum because it's a smaller niche. And right now I'm at the point where, yeah, I've been doing stuff with Osmo Action, action cameras, like the DJI Osmo Pocket, and now with the GoPro. But I think I'm really gonna narrow my channel down, make it about drones and drones for filmmakers, okay? Or people who are interested in making really good video and learning about how to use the drones to get the best videos that they can. And also take pictures, but mainly for uh, filmmakers. So that's gonna be my, my channel. So as I get more narrow, yeah, you might think people are gonna unsubscribe or, or leave my channel but actually the opposite is true. More people are actually gonna come to my channel. And then as my channel grows, once I get to like 100,000, maybe 200,000 subscribers, then I'm gonna branch out and do more things other than drones. Eventually I wanna be a channel where I can make content for all creators. So basically if you're a content creator, my channel helps you be a better content creator so we can do all aspects of content creation. But right now I'm gonna start with drones first because if I start like I've been doing all areas of content creation, I'm not gonna grow as fast. So try to be very specific in the, in the, in the beginning, almost like an inverted pyramid, okay? So like it starts out small and then it goes bigger, bigger, and bigger, okay? But you can't do the opposite. If you start out big in the beginning, you're only gonna get small, <laughs> okay? That's just the way it is. All right, so we're gonna do the giveaway very soon, I'm gonna give you one more bonus tip. And here's a bonus tip that I've noticed only in the last few months, but it's extremely important. And it's something that I'm looking to improve. All these things, like I said, I'm giving you this advice, but I'm also giving it to myself because these are things I need to work on as well. I have an Apple computer and I've been using Premiere Pro to edit my videos. However, Premiere Pro is really slow rendering files. I also have an older MacBook Pro, even though it's souped up, it's still a, a really old computer. So when I say really old, it's 2011, believe it or not. So I have a 2011 computer and I use Premiere Pro. Now, if I used Final Cut Pro or even like DaVinci Resolve, those editing softwares are much faster on an Apple computer, especially Final Cut Pro, which I'm, I'm probably gonna look into. This bonus tip is basically, make sure you have the right computer with the right software so you can make the videos quick because it's gonna take you a while to edit the videos. If you have a PC, I recommend going more with Premiere Pro because that's gonna be good or maybe even DaVinci Resolve, one of those two. If you have a, a MacBook, probably you're gonna wanna go with Final Cut Pro and not do Premiere like I do because after I make a video, I have to wait hours and hours and hours for it to render and export. It's been a struggle for me and I'm looking to fix that soon and when I do, you're gonna see more and more videos on my channel. It's gonna be a lot easier. So it's definitely gonna help my channel grow. If you can do that right from the beginning and save yourself the struggle and the hassle that I've been doing, that'll help you out a lot. All right guys, so now time for the giveaway. I looked through all the comments up to the time of this giveaway. So if you commented after this video is made, that's the way it goes. These are the four giveaway items and I'm gonna be doing more giveaways in the future, okay? I'm gonna to try to do one every month. So just so you guys know, I cut out all your names and I categorize you with the item that you wanted to win. So if you wanted to win this item, I cut your name out, I put it in a hat, and if you wanted this one and so forth, okay? So I'm not gonna stop the video just so you know it's fair, I'm not choosing one, I'm gonna just keep recording. I'm not gonna stop the video at all. I'm gonna go down to the hats with the uh, appropriate uh, giveaway item and we're gonna do that now. So the first one up is the gradient filters, the PGY Tech gradient filters and those guys are in this hat okay as you can see i got all the uh names mixed up in there okay it's just on these little strips okay and i'm just gonna pick a name now i'm doing this guys because you know it was really hard for me to pick one comment so i felt like this was the best way to do it so i'm not looking not looking 
Just reaching in there. And the winner is, for the first gradient filters, Mike Barber. Okay, so PGY Tech gradient filters, Mike Barber. Guys, if you win, just hit me up on Facebook, uh, Breck Aramella, or on, you can also hit me up on Instagram, Brett underscore Garamella, and just send me a direct message with your address and I will ship these out to you. Okay, so Mike, just send me a message either on Facebook or on Instagram, uh, Mike Barber, first winner of these, okay? So I will take these out just so I know who is who. Okay, put that there. And the next winner for the, these are the Pro Filters, which a lot of people wanted. Okay, these are the brand new PGY Tech Pro Filters. These are ND8 all the way up to 64. We got a bunch of people in here, a whole bunch of people. All right, it's actually it's a bunch, but all right, when I say bunch, maybe like a dozen. All right, so I'm gonna reach in there. And we're going to go in, and the winner is Apple Boy BR, okay? PGY Tech ND Polarizer Filters. Apple Boy BR, uh, just hit me up on Facebook or Instagram with your address. Congratulations, you won these. All right, so put those aside. All right, next one up are the Sandmark filters. So the Sandmark filters are with this hat right here. Okay, so this hat right here. Actually, no, we did have a bunch with the Sandmark as well. So as you can see, we got all the Sandmark people in here. And I'm just gonna reach in there and grab one. And the winner is John Smith, Sandmark filters. John Smith, congratulations. Send me your address and I'll ship these out to you. Okay. John Smith, all right. It's a common name. All right. And the last one up is the Osmo Pocket Stand. For these, there's only two people that wanted to win this. So you have a 50-50 chance there's these two people right here. One, two, okay? I will shake it up and I'll reach in there. Not looking. And I will grab this one. And the winner is Gordon Underwood. Okay, Gordon, you win this. Just send me your address and I'll ship this PGY Tech. I mean, sorry, this, yeah, PGY Tech. Osmo Pocket Stand to you, okay? So Gordon. Congratulations on all the winners. If you did not win, if you did not win, that's okay. Okay, because um, I'll be doing a lot more giveaways like that. Did you like the way I picked the winners? I thought this was the fairest way. If you did, leave a comment below. Let me know if you think this was the right way to do it. If, you, if there's a better way I could do it, uh, leave that in the comment below. I think this was probably the best winner. I mean the best winner the best way to do it and I hope this video was helpful for you guys if you have a YouTube channel hope this helped you get started because I know a lot of you guys out there are uh, Video makers photographers creators. So if you are starting a YouTube channel, I do recommend it You just have to be dedicated follow these tips. I have I gave you today there's a lot of more tips I could have given you, but I thought these are some tips that aren't talked about as much on YouTube. So that, that's why I thought they'd be helpful. So if you enjoyed it, press the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, I'm gonna be doing more giveaways in the future. Press that like button as well. Share this with a friend if you think it can be beneficial for them. And that's all I got. I'm Breck Aramella with breckaramella.com and I'll see you in the next video.